So I've been, as I mentioned earlier, I've taught in the mobile program for 10 years and the challenges change all the time. And I think that's a very important message to realize that this is an evolving environment and what you did last year will need to probably change next year just because of technology. So initially, the challenge of Facebook competing against Facebook as I'm discussing or lecturing at the front of the class wasn't there. It didn't exist 10 years ago. The students had wireless cars that they could simply take out, put on their desk, and then they just have their PowerPoint open. There was no risk of distraction. In today's world, that has changed significantly. So about three years ago, we felt that the distractions, the Facebook, the YouTube, the MSN, had impacted negatively our grade point average and our failure rate had gone up. Same course I've been teaching for you know, over 15 years and that was a concern for me and my, my colleagues. So we looked at some research. Uh, one of my colleagues was doing a, a master's in education and we found out what we determined was the problem that they really couldn't cognitively learn if they were multitasking. As much as they think they can, they can't. But we also didn't want to have the positive aspects of the laptop and the mobile environment lost either. So there was this balance. How do we come overcome the challenges of distraction, which they're so connected. It's very difficult for students today to not be connected for any length of time. How do we overcome that distraction or potential for distraction? Because it's not just the individual that's on Facebook, it's the person behind that individual that now has a choice between looking at that student's Facebook or the professor. It's a very difficult um, environment for some students and to convince them that the multitasking and cognitive learning really was not possible. So, and we knew this because of the grade point average and the failure rates in the program. So we developed what we call an active learning environment and it's uh, an approach that any time we use a laptop in our class, it's tied to a specific activity. Some of the ones could be whether it's uh, applied learning exercise, a quiz, um, preparing a presentation, taking the theory that we've just learned and letting them do a problem or uh, an exercise in class based on that theory. We use them every day, but for a good 20 to half an hour, 30 minutes of every class, their laptops are closed. They are closed down completely and we have a discussion. It's no longer a lecture, it's a discussion. And that's how we viewed the act of learning. And one of the key points to that was changing our delivery. So my slides are entirely visual triggers. There's very few words on my slides and the in-class discussions, not lectures, have become very interactive based on these visual triggers. Uh, and it really did help. Um, the grade points average did go back up, our failure rate was less, and we still felt that the students gained the value of the mobile environment without the distractions.